Hey guys, it's Guitar Hero Austin, and happy Halloween. Uh, I've been waiting for Halloween for like so long. The month of October actually felt really long this year. I don't know why, but October is literally my favorite month of the year because it's so creepy and really fun. And today I thought I would tell three creepy true ghost stories for, that I found on the internet, obviously. I'm going to read them off my phone to you guys. I picked three because they're really short, so... Yeah, hope you guys enjoy them. So this one is called Cabin in the Woods. So here we go. Cabin in the Woods. The first time I moved away from home, I lived in an old cabin-like house that I rented really cheap. I never had a good night's sleep there. I always tossed and turned and woke up several times during the night. But it wasn't until after a few weeks things started to get weird. In the beginning, it was just small things that I didn't really think too much about like keys missing and cups and plates not being there where I thought I had left them. Then I started waking up in the morning to find various drawers and open various drawers opened and things laying around like someone had been in a hurry searching for something. I even came home to a wide open main door and decided to change the locks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but even then when I was home with the door locked I could walk past and just in the corner of my eye see the door slide open. One time I was cat sitting one of my friend's cats and it would just sit for hours in the middle of the room and toss its tail from side to side and watch as if it was following something around the room with its eyes. It creeped me out. If only you can imagine what it felt like to see the cat slowly following something that floats randomly around the room and finally stop right beside you. After a while, I just could not live there anymore, and finally moved out. <laughs> oh my gosh. So that story was pretty creepy. Actually, these all are really creepy. They all gave me chills when I read them the first time for this video, so... Yeah. Alright, this one's called The Disconnected Number. A few years ago, my brother would get a call on his cell phone around 2 to 3 a.m. every night. He would answer, and it was this hellish sounding noise, like static mixed with screams. He changed his cell number after a month of this, and it stopped. Then after a week or so, it began again. The same exact noise. Exact same time. Finally, one day, he decided to back dial the call. It was an old man that had no clue what he was talking about. Still, the calls persisted. If he didn't answer, it would call a few more times. No messages were left. He decided to say screw it, ended his contract with his phone company, switched to a new one, and then got another new number. You guessed it, the screaming static calls continued after a short delay. By this time, he was terrified every night, unsure why this was happening. He back-dialed the number again and got a different person. Around this time, he lost his job and his phone. The calls stopped, of course. His phone was disconnected now. One day, my mom asks me to listen to, his, to this weird message she got on our home phone. It was the static screaming. We showed my brother, and he was freaking out. He back dialed the number again, and it said the number was disconnected this time. Never heard from it again after that. Dude, if I started getting calls at 3 a.m. in the freaking morning, like, I would be... I'd probably disconnect my phone too. Okay, this is the last one. It's called The Light. Um, my wife's mother passed away in 2003, 2003 <laughs> from cancer. After the funeral, family and friends gathered at her house for a final celebration of her life. The gathering went late into the evening. My son, three at the time, needed to go to bed at that point, and I walked him up the stairs to where he would sleep. The room that my mother-in-law passed away in was upstairs, and straight down the hallway as you reached the top of the landing. My son and I walked upstairs together, with me holding his hand. As we nearly reached the top of the stairs, my son stopped and couldn't move. At that point, which he could just see down the hall, he was staring straight down... Wait, what? At the point which he could just see down the hall... He was staring straight down the hall. I looked at him, then down the hall to an open doorway to a completely dark room. He just stared and would not move any further. I asked him, Buddy, are you okay? His response was, Daddy, the light scares me. I looked again down the hallway where he was staring into the darkness. Buddy, you see a light? Yes, Daddy, it scares me. I promptly picked him up and went back downstairs. To this day, the hairs still stand on the back of my neck when I think of it. Oh my god. 
So those are some really creepy stories I thought I'd read on here today. Um, those are the end of them. Um, I'm trying to also film some more paranormal locations for you guys in more upcoming videos. Um, so yeah, um, eventually there will be more paranormal videos, obviously, like going to haunted locations and stuff. And yeah, I just wanted to make a creepy video for Halloween and hope you guys stay safe out there trick-or-treating. Just be careful and yeah, so that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys later. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.